Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together, we are the Ginfluencers UK. We're gin enthusiasts, and we currently have over 700 different gins in our collection. I'd say we're probably more maniacs than enthusiasts. <laughs> yeah, I think you could actually be right there. Yes, yeah. We, we have a real passion about gin, let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah we agree definitely. on that. There you go. Right. <laughs> in these videos, we're going to share our gin journey with you all. So, we hope you enjoy them and you can watch us bickering. Welcome to our first tasting video in which we'll be trying out this Buckingham Palace gin. Woohoo! <laughs> That's great. Right, it's made with 12 different botanicals, including lemon verbena, which is my favourite, right, hawthorn berries and mulberry leaves, to name but a few. That was literally three. I know, there's, there's not a lot more information <laughs> about it, believe it or not. Uh, some of the botanicals are actually gathered at the Buckingham Palace Garden, which gives this gin a truly royal origin. It has an ABV of 42% and comes in this beautifully designed 70 centiliter bottle. Ooh. It's got a price tag of 40 pounds if you're lucky enough to get a bottle, because I know it sells out pretty quickly. We were lucky enough to get one of the first bottles. We were indeed, it was very, very lucky of us. All the profits go to the Royal Collection Trust, which is a charity that looks after the Royal Art Collections and oversees some of the public openings of the Queen's official residences. So we'll be trying this gin with Fever Tree Indian Premium Tonic Water and garnishing with a slice of lemon. Oh, can't wait. Let's get to it. <laughs> okay. So in all our videos, what we'll be doing, we'll be trying it neat first. So we'll do that. Okay. Ooh. Oh, excellent. There you go. That was a nice clean pop. Can't wait. Ooh, smells nice. Citrusy. Really citrusy. Oh, that's strong. <laughs> that's really strong. Mm. It's lovely. Like, it, it's it's really smooth. It's very, it, it is very citrus forward, though. Yeah. Really citrus forward. A little bit herby. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Really pleasant. It's a pleasant gin. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. See, is Me. that weird? Uh, maybe I'm just um, blinkered by the fact that the the queen went out and made this herself. Right? On, on one of her days off. Yeah, on one of her days off. That it would be absolutely amazing. I thought it would be. I think it's nice. Um, as it is like that, it is nice. It's, nice. it's not groundbreaking, but then we have just had it neat. I quite like it, it's a bit sherbetty. You can get lemon in it already. See, we're gonna garnish with lemon, but I can taste lemon already. I can taste citrus in it already. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's drinkable. Oh, good, because <laughs> we'll be drinking it. Oh. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> Let me, so let's try it. to know one. Okay, so we'll be trying this now, as I said, with a fever tree Indian premium tonic water and garnishing with lemon. Let's so, get to it. Let's do it. So, cheers. 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 Oh. <laughs> strong. It's, it does taste really strong. Really strong. I stopped getting poked by this. Only initially. Yeah. It, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's nice. It's, it's nice. Not, it's, it's, it's more than nice. I think it's really nice. Yeah, it's a nice gin. It's citrus heavy. It's nice and dry. It's very dry. It's nice and dry. It's very dry. Herbal, did you get that herbal taste in there? I haven't yet. No? Your lemon verbena that you love? 
I do love lemon verbena. Um, yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. I actually like it. It is. It's a little bit sherbetty. It's a little bit kind of fizzy. I'm actually quite impressed with it. I'm actually I quite didn't with think it. it would be no good. I probably expected it to be a little bit better. It's it's nice. It is nice. It's it is citrusy. She's got a lot of work going on. <laughs> I know she's a very busy woman, right? Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it's there's nothing jumping out at me. Like it, it, it's it's a nice gin. You yeah, wouldn't have a problem drinking this at thing. all. It's just a good gin. Yeah. I know we, we, me and him like versatil uh, versatility in our gins, so um, this one's probably not so versatile, but no. it's a nice gin. It's a it good is. gin. It is. It's a really nice gin, okay? And uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a problem drinking this. Uh, I like the fact it's very dry. It is very dry. It's very dry. Not, yeah, and... Really dry. It isn't overly kind of artificially junipery. I don't, I don't kind of No, it doesn't, that. it doesn't taste artificial at all. No. Not like some of them that's out there. That kind of piney flavor yeah. you don't get. Um, interestingly. Yeah, it's a bit herbally. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> a bit slow, a bit slow. Well, the queen likes a tipple um, before lunch um, of gin and dubonnet. Um, and I've been looking it up and there's various ways. Some ways they say she drinks it two to one. So two measures of like, so a large Dubonnet and a single measure of gin. Others it's 50-50. We're gonna try it. Oh, as, a, as if by magic, we have some Dubonnet, Dubonnet. here. There we go. <clears throat> so um, we're, gonna, we're gonna pop some I'll, I'll in. pop some ice in here, that's my job. I don't, yeah, go on in. Yeah, yeah. is that all right? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Give me a job today. Yep. That's all I'm good for. Did you want one or cu cube or two? Mm, one will do. I think one. I th I think ratio wise we're gonna go we're gonna go with a two to one. Some some people say it's 50-50. I want to go kind of two to one. Single measure as well. Oh, how bad is that? <laughs> she's in her nineties. Come on. I know she's in her nineties. Apparently <laughs> after this she has um, a couple more. Uh, she has she has two martinis apparently after this. What to get rid of the taste of Dubonnet? And then um, <laughs> and then she has um, a couple of glasses of wine with dinner. Wow, yeah. she's hard. Been watching a programme. So. Oh, yeah. All right, let's give this one a go. I've got to say I'm not really looking forward to to uh, this, but uh, we we'll give it a go. Looks like blood. In the interests of uh, experimentation. Give it a swoosh. I'll give it a little swoosh. Cheers. Cheers. That's an interesting smell. <laughs> wow. Okay, the smells it very interesting. Hmm. That is that's disgusting. <laughs> oh. Not nice. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not absolutely nice. Absolutely disgusting. Apparently, she, the Queen has two cubes of ice, but we've got one big, big dog of ice. Let's. Oh. Right, it's. it's comp I mean, you can't even tell there's gin in there. It's so overpowering, Dubonnet. It's disgusting. Okay, uh, like, it really. I can't say any other word. I'm not even going to bother to try and explain. I think it's 14%, this, isn't it? 14.8%, then you put 42% on top of that. I mean, if, no, if your she majesty, might... you're quite hardcore. You know, you are quite hardcore in mm. this. Um, I don't know, you know. Oh no, definitely. It's, <clears throat> it's, it's, <laughs> it's, okay, it's not for me. See, there are certain drinks I like, um, aperitifs I quite like. Um, oh, I have to taste it. It tastes a little bit different. Okay, I'll, I'll give it another go. No, it's a bit cough medicine-y for me. That is disgusting. <laughs> that really don't hold back. That is no, I can't. I can't. Drink. It's it's ruined. It's, you've ruined a good gin by putting it listen, in that. You've ruined a good listen, gin. 
if Her Majesty wants this and drinks this, then she can. If it's good oh. for her, it's good for us commoners. I'm just coating in my mouth now. It's not nice. It isn't nice. Oh no, I'm so glad we're not judging it on that. Right. Okay, because I'd want rid of the bottle. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's not nice. It's not a, it's not a winner from me, um, unfortunately. So in our videos, what oh, we're yeah. going to do is we're actually going to score them. So it's going to be from um, one to ten, and or even a zero if it's really yeah, that bad. Zero if it's that bad. I mean, if we scored it on this, it would be a zero. I'd go into minus figures right. on this. This so is disgusting. Let's let's score it. Right. Okay. And whoever scores the highest gets to keep that bottle to drink for themselves or decide what happens to it. Um, yep, there you go. Okay. I'm, I'm happy with my decision. Are we ready? Yeah, I am. Right, go. Oh. Wow. Oh. I was going to score it higher. Yeah. Right. Um, it's just, I mean, it's a nice gin, right? But mm. there's, there's other ones out there that taste equally nice. So I've got to change. You've still got the taste of that. Maybe that's maybe that influenced me a little bit. Um, oh. Yeah, it's it's a nice it's a nice enough gin, um, and I wouldn't have a problem having it like as a G and T being offered it. No problems with that at all. Um, would it be my first choice? Now we, we're, we're trying so many different gins, I don't know if it would be. No, I don't think I'd rush to get another bottle. I mean, the bottle's beautiful and you know, the, the idea behind it's been great and I know it's, it's pretty much selling out every time it goes on sale. Um, and it's nice, but there are a lot of gins out there now and I wouldn't rush to replace it. Now we've tried it, I wouldn't rush to replace it, but it is a nice gin. As gin collectors, we had to get this yeah. and try it. Um, and it, it's a nice gin, it really is. Um, it's just... There are other gins now though, because I know Highgrove are doing one that Fortnum and Mason sell. Mm -hmm. So Prince, that's Prince Charles's one. Um, and then you've got um, Sandringham. Sandringham Estate yep. have one now as well. So uh, we'll be doing reviews on those as well. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't replace it. It's, it. it's a nice gin, it's, it's okay. Yeah, um, don't don't get blinkered by it's the not fact that it's, um, it, it, the, the Queen made it on her day off, right? It's 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 a nice gin. If you didn't know that was a Buckingham Palace gin, you would just say it's a nice enough gin, and it could be a, a, a twenty pound bottle as opposed to a forty pound forty pound bottle. bottle. So yeah, that's that's the thing. If you did a blind taste test, you you probably wouldn't wouldn't pick that out as, uh, no, as one of the best No, but it's, gins. Not, it's not a bad gin, it isn't by, it's by it's far, a nice it's, gin. Not... it's lovely and dry, and I do like yeah. dry gins, yeah. and I like citrus gins, but which is weird because we have, you know, very different flavor, uh, taste um, between us. I, I like um, I like very citrus, he likes very sweet stuff. Um, so scoring sixes, no knighthoods for us then? No. No, okay. I mean, I was, I was contemplating a seven, but, do you know what? I'm looking at the shelves and... There's uh, plenty more out yeah, there. Yeah, there's like. plenty more out there. Um, I mean, I'm glad we've got it and we've yeah. got it in our collection. I'm glad we got it as one of the first, what, well, the first batch, right? Um, It'd be interesting if you guys have tried it to see what you think as yeah. well. So pop a comment below in the box. Let us know what you think if you've tried it. Um, be interesting to see if you've tried it as the Queen does with uh, oh, Dubonnet. Don't. Um, it's not, not a winner for me. It's or not you. a winner. Trouble is, we're now stuck <laughs> with a bottle of Dubonnet, <laughs> which we're going to have to try and palm off on people. Cocktails uh, at Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Right, so. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Cheers. Cheers.